Welcome to AutobeYears.com, July 25th, 2008. Plug-in hybrid Prius conversion number six. We will be removing the plastic and the back seats to gain access to the high voltage battery. We'll be adding a box on top of this spare tire. Okay, it's been five minutes or so. Remarkably quick. We've removed the left <coughs> carpet, the bench seat, the left rear seat, all to gain access to these bolts. so that we can get to the high voltage battery connections. Now we've removed those two plates, one's a mount, to gain access. By the way, we removed the high voltage safety plug. We have to get to this current sensor and run a wire through it, which will eventually come through here and go to the high voltage pack, the auxiliary high voltage pack. Okay, we're test fitting the plug-in supply battery box. There are two studs where this remote sensor was mounted. Here. And on the right rear, uh, I need more light in there. There, it's working. There's a hole. with a threaded bolt goes and there also. This is the plug-in supply box as it arrives with the outlet for the rear bumper and the interim control board installed. I have printed off the interim control board safety modification that we will perform. The 20 lead acid batteries uh, please ignore the Prius tail lights on the pallet, but that is 20 lead acid batteries drop shipped here by plug-in supply. We've marked the holes and Tim here is going to drill them all the way through. This is cam view in the glove box with that ribbon cable winding up in the trunk in the battery box. This is the other end of the ribbon cable, the front end being in cam view. It winds up at the interim control board right there. This is the battery installation. There are 20 lead acid batteries. These are by BB Battery. Notice the connection from there to here runs behind the battery in this open area. Also notice that each and every battery connection has a, a washer and a lock washer critical that the lock washers are present. Arcing can occur if these connections should become loose. We don't want to have a plasma event. I have to adjust this rail forward because this row of batteries won't seat firmly. We've already installed the gas struts and I've already removed two of the four knurled nuts so here goes the next to the last one. Voila! My intention to adjust these nuts to make room for the battery. That's all. Here's the one we're looking for. 20 of 20.
<laughs> These are the high voltage contactors on the Toyota Prius battery. And we've installed this wire on the negative contactor. The safety plug is removed, by the way. I've made the current sensor hole large enough to accept this wire. This will go here, and the positive one will go here, just like this. Okay, that, that's all. We'll connect this here, and this will be the parallel wire with the new battery pack. It occurs to me that this connection is redundant when we've got both of them right here. This short two inch piece of wire was, was created so that we wouldn't have but one wire going to the current sensor. Um, but I've successfully made the current sensor opening large enough to accept two wires by drilling it out. So I'm going to revise the, the design. What we have here is a Prius with a plug. The cooling fans are in operation. The charger set for lead acid plugged into that GFCI outlet. This outlet is then run through the bumper to that plug. See what happens when we attempt to power up with everything let me try EV I had a contactor to engage there charger quit that's original that's PHEV These two cables go to can view. The big one runs from there to the display, and the small one goes to the OBD2 connector by the gas pedal. This is the H14 plug. Pin 27 has an EV mode trice uh, wire inserted. That's what the red wire is.